Welcome to Connect, the weekly podcast of the California MBA featuring movers and shakers in the mortgage industry. I'm Susan Malazzo, CEO of the California MBA, and I'm very happy that you can join us today. Before we get to today's guest, I'd like to thank our Connect sponsor, Incelerate. Thanks, Susan, and thanks for listening. This is Josh Wren, CEO and founder of Incelerate. We're grateful for our partnership with the CMBA and are committed as a company to help lenders close more loans. We do this with our customer experience platform that has a CRM, lead management, marketing, automation, robust content library, desktop and mobile applications. We do this to help you engage and stay connected to your current borrowers, referral partners, past borrowers, and potential new ones. If you want to find out why we're the fastest growing CRM provider in the mortgage industry, please reach out to us and ask for a demo. Okay, thank you, Josh. And uh, that will turn us over to today's guest. I'm very happy to welcome Josh Lear, who is senior Director and um, uh, of Partnerships and Industry Technology at Total Expert. Hi there, Josh. Hey, Susan. Glad to be here. Happy that you guys, uh, we just came off of our Mortgage Innovators Conference, which was really exciting. So i um, happy to have Total Expert uh, featured on our Connect podcast. Um, Josh, I kind of want to get started just finding out a little bit about you and your background. Tell us um, you know, a little bit about yourself and your professional journey to Total Expert. Yeah, for sure. So I've actually been in financial services technology since my college days. So while I was working in college, I was working in a call center for a credit card bank. I uh, did that for about 10 years, progressed into development product management roles there, and then eventually made my move into mortgage technology about a decade ago. Uh, I had a buddy from college that reached out to me. He's like, hey, we have this company called Mortech. We distribute rates out to LendingTree and Zillow and all these other sites. And I'm like, well, it sounds like a fun opportunity, something different. So I made the jump into mortgage technology uh, six months later to be acquired by Zillow Group. So uh, that also expanded my journey, not just into the pricing engine space, but really into a position where I was able to cover all of mortgage technology. So really my you know, role transitioned into more of a technology role to understand what's happening from the top of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel in mortgage technology, who are the movers and shakers in mortgage technology, and who should we be looking at as potential opportunities for partnership and then M&A as well as Zillow Group. Um, through that, I actually started covering Total Expert, right? And that was probably back in about 2015. So I got to know, you know, Jeff Walden and Joe Wellu over here. And I could see that what they were doing was definitely differentiated in the market, right? And they were taking a lot of market share and they were doing some really cool things. So I always kept in touch with them. And eventually we had the discussion about them moving into consumer direct technology. And when they did, I took a position over here as the director of strategy for consumer direct products. And then, uh, you know, love of partnerships came back in, which is where I've transitioned more into the senior director of uh, partnerships now. Right, right. I know uh, we had chatted before. Why, why were you excited to to join Total Expert? I know that there was some specific things about the company that kind of drew you in. Yeah, uh, one of the things was really around the market. You know, the co-marketing has always been a big staple of ours, where we have compliant co-marketing between the real estate agent and the loan officer. But what really caught my eye was when the marketing automation engine was released. Really, right. And the marketing automation engine was definitely differentiated because a lot of lenders at that time were doing the drip marketing where they were kind of a set it and forget it campaign of four you know sequential emails and what total expert did is they built this marketing automation platform that was more of the choose your own adventure book right where you could take the information you had on that consumer and build a very curated journey for them you know with automated sms automated email messages and what we saw is a lot of lenders start to transition to this technology from the older campaign email campaign technology and they're seeing a lot of success right a lot more interactions with their leads and you know not only their leads but the follow-ups with their customers the ability to interact with their customers over the lifetime uh even post close right and that was something that was really unique and something i was excited to have as a foundational piece of technology to work work with as we grew into consumer direct uh, more of that consumer direct sales technology right so what are, uh, I'd be interested, what are your customers sharing with you as their highest priority relative to technology this year? Yeah, I think a lot of it is, well, a lot of it is based around the communication aspect and make, making sure that not only are you, you know, you have that communication cadence in place to acquire new customers, 
but also staying in touch with customers through the origination process. I was talking to a top producer um, out on the East Coast earlier this month, and they said, Josh, my problem right now isn't the fact that, you know, I, I don't, it's not that I don't have a pipeline, right? I have a pipeline full of pre-approved borrowers. My problem is making sure that I stay in touch with these pre-approved buyer borrowers. So they are, I am there for them when they're ready to make an offer. You know, they have these pre-approved borrowers that are even competing against each other for offer, right? for, for the same properties. So one of the things that we've seen is people want to have that technology that's going to help them keep in touch with their consumers. So how can I make sure I have automatic touch points to see if they're out shopping for homes that weekend, to see if they need a new pre-approval offer? How am I, you know, how is the software helping me structure my day to make sure I'm staying in touch with the consumers that need that immediate touch point? And then maybe pushing off those other touch points with consumers, uh, you know, later on that are may, not may, maybe ready to transact. So that's a big piece of what we've seen is how can the software actually help me you know, drive those automated communications so I can focus on giving expert advice at the right time. Right. So that, that kind of leads me to my next question. You know, I, I talk often with my, my lender members uh, about a wide variety of things, but even after all, I feel like this last decade, there's been so much adoption of technology, right? But even now, my members are still sharing with me that they struggle with tech stack integration. Mm -hmm. So how does Total Expert help lenders through that process? Yeah. So when we think about technology integration, it really starts when we get customers in the door with our professional services team. We've got a great professional services team that really helps our lenders understand how software can be integrated to our platform and making sure that we have a great plan in place to take full advantage of those integrations. And we've had a lot of our one-off integrations from the early days turn into great enterprise integrations. We talk about you know, our fully flexible and compass integration. Obviously, you know, having that integration with the largest LOS out there really helps, it, uh, having a flexible integration with them really helps us drive the journey that the lender wants us to. So we can start to pull down custom fields that maybe they have. Um, beyond that, one of the things that we're starting to do is we're expanding our integrations ecosystem. So we have staff now that are dedicated to going and building these standardized integrations, regardless of if it's loan origination systems, point of sales, or some of the more, uh, you know, the, I guess, the next set of new technologies we're seeing, like the home bots or the house canaries, getting those pieces integrated to make sure that they are fully bi-directional. How are we feeding information to them so they can kick off their processes? And how are we getting those insights back from those platforms so that we can drive marketing automation within the platform itself, within Total Expert? And I think that's really exciting. And not only is the integration exciting, but one of the things I'd like to highlight is the expert content, right? You know, integrations are one thing, but actually using the, having those integrations ready to go out of the box is another. So we have expert content that has supporting marketing automation journeys and the actual email content for lenders so that they can get to market quicker with these solutions. So it's not just about having the integration, but it's the know-how of what, a, what, that, what you should be doing with that integration and having a starting point so you don't have to think about how you're leveraging that, but you can just make tweaks to what we see as the best practice. Right, that's great. It's like creating the efficiencies with all of the, you know, the partners that you're that a lender is using. Um, I think would be, you know, of course, important, really critical. You know, as I've mentioned, you know, we've all seen just so much advancement in technology in the mortgage space over the past decade. You've been in the, you know, in this, you know, in a significant part of that for the past decade too. Where do you see there's been the most significant progress? Yeah. Um, you know, selfishly, obviously, we talk about the marketing automation. I saw the super exciting, it's super exciting, which is the reason that I'm here. But you start to talk about what's happening really on the lead generation side, right? I think we've seen a lot of advancement to where it's been initially, you know, we're pulling name, address, phone number information. We're starting to see better connections be with consumers on the front end when, it talk when, we, when we talk about lead generation. So a more developed lead that's coming into the platform so that you can drive a better message with that consumer. I think that's something that's advanced a lot. And I think the other thing is making those leads accessible too. Um, you know, we talk about lead pricing strategies and you see them anywhere from $10 a lead to $250 a lead, depending on where you're getting those lead sources. But what's happening is we're starting to see that market kind of right size for lenders. So that way lenders are getting the value out of those leads 
instead of just having that flat price. And I think that's been a big advancement uh, for sure. The other thing that I'm excited, uh, excited about is some of the tech advancement that we've seen in terms of the verifications, right? I know we've had you know the form freeze of the world out there for quite a while, but to start to see some of the regulatory changes to make what they're doing more acceptable and having that digital verification has just been, mm -hmm. I think that's what's gonna drive the next, what I say, the next iteration of how we originate loans, right? I think it's gonna be the same piece, but you talk about those processes and digitizing that process, it allows us to accelerate that accelerate that uh, that journey. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think increasingly regulators will be looking at the use of technology and how that's creating you know consumer protection um, efficiencies in the process too. Yeah, um, yeah ab absolutely. Um, and one, thing, one other thing on that, you think about how the pandemic actually helped, you know, and I think one of the things I noticed early on was because I went through the origination my process during uh, COVID was with remote online notif notarization, right? That actually brought it to the forefront where we had these temporary orders to allow for remote, or for, for raw, right? right? And it, I think it brought that thought process forward for the regulators and for the government to start looking and actually embracing that, right? So I hope there's other changes that can be made along the way to really streamline what we're doing in, uh, in mortgage technology. Yeah, you're right. It really, yeah, when you're forced to, you know, when they're all forced to do, you know, things in a certain way, <laughs> it kind of shines some different light on something, right? Yep. You know, um, of course, with, you know, the current market conditions, um, you know, I kind of had a couple of questions for you relative to, um, you know, customer retention, because we're in a purchase market, people want those loyal customers, right? So I'd love to get your thoughts on how technology can keep customers and loan officers loyal to a lender. Yes, um, from the consumer standpoint, I think a lot of, it, it's really about engagement, right? Really being in front of the consumer at the right time. And one of the things that I'm always aware of, especially as I look at brand experiences out there in the market today, is what kind of messaging am I receiving and how is that personalized for my, my, myself, right? My financial situation. A lot of the times you're gonna see, you know, I'm getting those, I'm getting my inbox is flooded with a number of emails from an institution that might not be curated and I'm just gonna pass those by, right? I think it's really about delivering the right message based on what you know about that consumer and based on where they're at on their financial journey. The more that message resonates with the consumer, the more likely they are gonna to be to reach back out to you. And I think that's really important when you talk about consumer loyalty is let's make sure the touch points are relevant, right? Making mm -hmm. sure that we're driving that relevancy so that we are keeping their attention. You know, the other thing I've seen is some of these uh, third-party services, you know, I mentioned HomeBot earlier, where we are, again, it's driving value for the consumer. It's not just another thing that they're signing in for, signing in with, right? And I think that's a big thing about when, you know, when you talk about post-close as a lender is how are you driving value with your consumers? How are you driving that relevant communication, right? I think, you know, your regular campaigns like loan anniversaries and happy birthday campaigns, those are great, right? Because they're great touch points. But if you can go that next level to deliver that very personalized message or give them something that they can learn from, right? That's going to apply to their financial situation, whether that be, hey, your property value is increased, or these are the homes that have sold in your neighborhood. That type of information gives them that insight and helps build trust long-term so that you are there for that next transaction. Right. Um, you know, when we were uh, we were chatting before uh, today's interview, you had shared with me um, a a tool that Total Expert has that provides consumer insights. Um, and I was interested, how is that effective in retention opportunities with borrowers? Yes. So we talk about right timing your messaging with consumers, right? Especially in a world where our time is extremely valuable, right? And opportunities are very limited. Um, we have, uh, just this last spring, we released our customer intelligence suite of products, which really allows us to monitor the consumer, help you understand more about your consumer so that you can send that messaging at the right time. And we've seen a lot of great success out of this. You know, the primary use case is really around pulling credit triggers on it together, right? So as you think about as a consumer, maybe your consumers are out there shopping for a mortgage. We're now able to see when they are shopping for a mortgage so that you can make sure that you're presenting them with another offer that might be better than that one, right? Making sure they're fully aware of the options that they have. 
And beyond that, we're starting to use data in a number of different ways. So you talk about understanding how much equity a consumer has in their property, whether they're looking for, you know, probably not a cash out refi right now, but potentially HELOC opportunities to do home improvement because maybe they are going to stay in their home longer because of where rates are going. Or looking at where, you know, where rates are, you know, does it make sense? Probably not right now, but eventually it will be a point where those things are coming down. So those are the types of things we're looking at. And we have a major focus on this too, to start pulling in additional data sets for our lenders so that they can understand more about that consumer. And the more we understand about that consumer, the more we can have these curated experiences for them based on those proof points, right? Or those life events so that we can help them with their next financial decision. Yeah, kind of anticipating, you know, anticipating what they need before they've reached out. You you will be the uh, the lender that's right there for them when they need it. Exactly. That's great. Well, Josh, thank you so much for being a guest on Connect. I really appreciate your time and expertise. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, and thank all of you for joining us today. Uh, to access any of our Connect podcast episodes, you can follow us on our YouTube channel. We're also available on SoundCloud, Apple Podcast, and Spotify. That's it for today, and we'll see you next week on Connect. Thank you.